In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use AI-powered call recordings to turbocharge your business. First, I'll walk you through your call insights where AI recaps various parts of the conversation to make it easy to find anything you're looking for. I'm gonna show you one of the newest features, Ask Apollo, where you can ask the AI anything about your meeting and get an answer. We'll cover auto-reply emails to save you time there sharing clips, tagging other people in, scorecards, and playlists. Follow along in your account, let's do it together. So we're on the home page. I'm gonna click on conversations because I wanna show you some of the really cool things you can do with AI powered call recordings. So I'm gonna select one of my meetings that's already been recorded. Now on the left, you'll see the video. You can always just watch that like any old video recording. Beneath that, you'll see all the times that people were talking as well as when they're a screen share, if it helps you identify specific moments. But to the right, you'll see AI has already started to generate value. Under the summary section, you're gonna see multiple recaps of what happened in that meeting. In this case, you'll see I've got a recap of the outcome, the next steps, and who said them, objections, pain points, and every question that was asked in the meeting. You can just click on the time, it'll take you directly to that moment in the meeting. Now at the top of the screen is something even cooler, brand new, it's called Ask Apollo. When you click that, this will pop out where you can ask Apollo any questions you want about what happened in that meeting. It'll generate a reply, and if you like it, you can just hit right here to copy it, post it in the comments, or your notes on the record, wherever you keep your information. The next tab in Insights is Transcript. When you get over here, you'll have a full transcript, probably don't really care for that too much, but what you will care for is the fact you can search the transcript here and you can highlight anything in that transcript to easily make clips or share it. Just find the moment you wanna share. You'll see that you can copy the text, comment directly on the record here. At that time, you could tag other folks in, but if you click that, create a clip film reel, it'll take just that segment you highlighted, give it a title, a description and hit create clip. You can share that outside of your organization in case you wanna send a clip to your prospect, for example. The next tabs in Insights are trackers and comments. With trackers, you'll get a full rundown of any of your keyword trackers that were said during the meeting. You can even click on it and it'll take you directly to that moment in the transcript. If you wanna see it on the video, just click the time. It'll automatically bring you to that point so you can hear the person say, Comments is where you can leave comments for yourself or for other people in the organization. If there's something you want to note, you can pop it in here and you can tag other folks in. So I'll tag my boss and post. They'll get a notification about the comment. Now, of course, you're probably going to want to be following up with your prospect. You'll notice at the top right, there's a blue button that says auto draft email. If you hit that, it's going to put together a great follow-up email that you can use or you can edit it further. It'll provide a link to the meeting recording for your prospect, an overview of what was discussed, next steps that were identified, and some pleasantries at the end. Of course, you can add anything you'd like or adjust this, but it's a great starting point. And if you aren't doing follow-up emails, this is gonna be a major upgrade. Now we've been in the insights tab for this meeting all along. You'll notice there's details, which will pro provide a breakdown of who was in the meeting, and at any deals it's associated with. You'll see your clips over here. If you take a clip, it'll show up here. You can rewatch it, reshare it from here, but you'll also see scoring. This is an easy way to provide feedback to your team or to request feedback from your boss or a peer. You'll notice that you can select a scorecard if you're providing feedback or you can request feedback as well. Just hit request score, choose the evaluator, Pick the scorecard you want them to use, and you can define these in settings for conversations. And hit request. They'll get a notification. Ask him to fill out that scorecard and watch the meeting or the specific moments of the meeting that you requested. And then when they finish it, it'll show up right here in responses. It's so important to always be getting better and getting feedback. If you're only able to get feedback on one meeting every once in a while, you won't improve fast enough. So if you're on a team, start doing peer-to-peer -peer feedback sessions Oftentimes you appreciate the feedback from people doing the same job more than you do anybody else anyways. The last thing I wanna show you is playlists. 
you'll see a tab when you go back to the main conversations menu. And from there, you can put together playlists just like on Spotify or YouTube of the best meetings or meetings that fit into a certain category. Potentially, you want to create a playlist of the best meetings for that month to highlight people on the team or great examples of certain situations or objections being handled. Just go to Create Playlist, give it a name, say who can watch it, is it only on your team or anybody can, and hit Create. Once you've got your playlist created, you can start choosing which meetings you want to put in there. Just go to the meeting, hit the three dots next to it, and go Add to Playlist. That's the end of the course. You're now all set up with conversations and with AI powered call recording, you're about to transform the way you sell. So best of luck, happy selling.